Hey guys, I'm at Alton Towers today. Perfect shot on real Pine My name's Arthur and this is my rolling vlog. Alton Towers Park and the first ride that I'm heading to is Wicker Man. The Wicker Man is their latest coaster that's opened up here. As this is a Maryland park, I'll be unable to take you with me on the ride itself. But I'll tell you a bit more about Wicker Man as we go along. As I'm heading along to Wicker Man, I thought I'd show you how beautiful the park is. One thing that you need to realise here is in most theme parks, the structure that's in front of me would be completely fake, it would have a false back and, you know, it would be self-made for the theme park itself. Well, this predates the theme park and it's an actual fort. So, I've now arrived at the Wicker Man and it's the first wooden roller coaster in the world to combine wood and fire. <laughs> I'm crazy for going on it because Wood and fire, that's not a good mix. And this is the ride itself. I'll tell you more about it once I come off. For me, this coaster was quite a more intense coaster than some wooden coasters that I've been on. I would probably compare it in intensity to Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm, but it was fantastic. And the pre-show, it was amazing. And I wasn't expecting to have a pre-show like that, because normally in theme parks in the UK, they don't tend to have pre-shows as such. But that was incredible, it was brilliant. 
and it really got you into the theming of the ride itself. The company who made this coaster also made Thunderhead at Dollywood. And the highest point in this ride is 57 feet. During the ride, we passed through this structure here three times, which is quite amazing how you can get three levels of track in this structure. flying coaster and before it was called Galactica the ride was called Air and it was it's one of my favorite rides in the park but I'm not going to try the VR because I get a bit of motion sickness if I can't see where I'm going so I'm not sure how the VR would affect me I'm just going to do it without the VR Galactica was amazing as always and as you've gathered I was unable to take you with me it's the only flying coaster I've ever been on but what I like about it is that it's so smooth. Like, there's some roller coasters which will just so violent and shakes you about everywhere. But this one doesn't. And what I like about it, it's got two inversions. And the first inversion, you're lying on your back for a good five or six seconds, maybe 10. So it's really cool. So you're literally lying on your back on a roller coaster for about 10 seconds for the first inversion which is fantastic then going into the second inversion the coaster does like a half turn and then it turns you onto your side for a few couple of seconds then before it puts you back on your stomach again so it's a really all in all it's a really good coaster and the, my friend who's with me did the vr option i didn't well he did it he started to feel a bit motion sickness so bear in mind if you are prone to getting motion sickness i would recommend you don't do the vr if you're doing Galactica. The ride that I've just been on is Oblivion. Sorry I didn't film any of the information film on my way leading up to it, but we're in a bit of a rush trying to get there. Oblivion, it was the world's first. And you just saw it there, it was the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. So this was the first one that was ever created in the world. And it's still going strong today. What's good about it is, as you see there, they're hanging over the side before it drops you. It then goes underground before appearing at the other side. As I'm heading towards the rapids ride, I thought I'd show you the, the gardens. So this theme park built on an estate and this gardens here is grade 2 listed and it's quite a nice place to go to escape the madness of the theme park and I'll let you know a bit more about the estate and the theme park itself after I've had my lunch which I'll get to after I've done the rapid ride and I am guessing probably it won't be able to take you guys with me on the rapids ride I do have a waterproof camera but I'm not sure if Marilyn would allow me to use it. So if, if they do, I'll, I'll be taking you with me. If not, I'll describe it for you. And one of the awesome things about this park is that every pathway that you go through is like you're escaping from the park itself. So this park in particular, it just seems like a path that would go through a forest. It's so incredible. And it's the little touches they've added too. Like the, like having this like sort of like an awning sort of cover over the pathway it makes it look really cool and old and it's the fact that you're just surrounded by trees that totally makes you forget you're in the middle of a theme park oh, that was a little bit of a preview of the Congo River Rapids now, like I thought, I was unable to take any sort of recording equipment on the ride itself. But when it comes to like rapid rides, this has got to be the mildest rapid ride I've ever been on. It has no drops and it doesn't get you wet at all. 
which for a rapid ride isn't that great but it was still like a relaxing enjoyable ride but you won't get wet on this ride at all. I ate at Woodcutter's Bar and Grill for my lunch today and I completely forgot to tell you what I had. I had a gluten-free burger with fries, bacon and like salad and tomato but I have to say the burger wasn't good at all. It was really kind of dry and it was really tough so it was it didn't make for a good meal but for, for seven pounds 60 it, I can't really complain but it still wasn't that great and I wouldn't recommend it if you eat there. I've now taken a little detour into the ruins of the actual Alton Manor. Fabulous looking stained glass window. A bit of history about this park was in 1924 a local businessman formed Alton Towers Limited and began to restore the gardens which I showed earlier as a tourist attraction. In the 1950s this included the operation of a fairground and by the 1970s it included the boating lake which as you see in front of me. In 1973 John Broom married the daughter of majority shareholder Dennis Bagshaw. He then bought the controlling stake of Alton Towers itself and he basically laid the path of what Alton Towers is today. I'm now leaving the area beside the Alton Manor where I had my lunch and I'm now heading towards a ride called Jewel. Now it's uh, like a, a laser gun shooting sort of ride like Buzz Lightyear so I should be able to take you with me on this ride but knowing Merlin I probably won't be able to take you with me but we'll see. So here's a better view of the boating lake that I spoke about earlier. On the walkway to Jewel, there's some gargoyles on the path, which really adds to the theming. And there's more theming. This sort of gives me like a haunted mansion sort of feeling. It's really cool. Elizabeth Van Groening. They sailed on their honeymoon far away, but their ship went down the very same day. All of these gravestones are interactive so if you step on it and it makes the sound you're currently hearing just now. I've now arrived at Jill so I'll find out if I can take you with me or not. So this ride was really a cam ride. Very very much camera than Buzz Lightyear or Midway Mania and unfortunately Merlin don't allow you to record on any of their rides so I was unable to take you with me. I don't know why they've got that reason. I can understand for like the big roller coasters but to have it on something like that, crazy in my mind. So sorry I couldn't take you with me. Well you can probably guess what happened. I forgot to record an outro so I've come to my usual place to do my outros when I forget to record them. I had an awesome time at Alton Towers and it felt a bit more inclusive for wheelchair users as opposed to some of the other Maryland theme parks. And I really enjoyed Galactica because I love flying coasters and Oblivion was an awesome coaster because I like the vertical drop coasters as well. So this vlog has been split into two parts. Part two will be coming in the future and that one will be focused on some of the merchandise you can get around the park and some more of the attractions that Alton Towers has to offer. Coming up over the next couple of weeks or so, some Halloween specials coming. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I've got many more adventures to come, but for now, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.